Welcome back. Breaking news this morning. Israel capturing the Palestinian side of the Rafah crossing in Gaza yesterday. Uh, tanks moved in rejecting Hamas's ceasefire deal. Now, Hamas announced yesterday that it has accepted a ceasefire deal Monday afternoon. But Israel says what they are accepting is far from meeting Israel's demands. Israel sending a delegation to Cairo, where the talks are resuming today. The U.S. and the U.N. remain opposed to the ground operation in Rafah. Fox News is White House correspondent Jackie Heinrich, press national security communications advisor John Kirby. For more, watch this. Noting everything that you've said about the concerns expressed by the U.S. about uh, the risk to Palestinians in Gaza with a full-scale operation, is the U.S. still aligned with Israel in its intention to eliminate the terrorist threat posed by Hamas? Of course. You're not going to eliminate an ideology through military operations. But does Israel have a right and responsibility to eliminate the threat that they suffered on the 7th of October? 100 percent, absolutely, they do. And we've been nothing but, but, uh, but very steadfast on that. Joining me now is Texas Congressman Keith Self. He is a member of both the Veterans Affairs and Foreign Affairs Committees. He's also a retired Army Special Forces Lieutenant Colonel himself. Congressman, it's good to see you. Thanks very much for great being be here, here. And thank you for your wonderful service to this great nation. What is your assessment of the war today? Uh, well, Netanyahu has been very clear. They are going to destroy the infrastructure of Hamas. Uh, President Biden has put obstacles in their way, even announced he wasn't going to ship some, some weapons to them. But Netanyahu and the, uh, the Israeli people are committed to this. You talk about forever wars, Maria, 48, uh, 56, 67, uh, 73, Intifada 1, Intifada 2. Israel wants to stop these forever wars that they're having to fight. Yeah. How, how will that happen, though? Well, they've got the battalions of uh, Hamas in Rafah, and when they destroy that, uh, then we can step back and uh, see who governs uh, Gaza. But I will tell you, if you want to give a better life to Palestinians in Gaza, then we want to make sure that the aid that goes in there actually gets to the Palestinians. It doesn't go to build Hamas tunnels to attack Israel. It doesn't go to data centers underneath the U.N. offices. How would you characterize the White House's support for Israel right now in its efforts? I would characterize it as they are trying to give them enough not to lose, but not enough to win. We need to be getting them all the weapons that they need so they can finish the job. We do not need to be telling yeah, a sovereign a great nation point. You're right. that they're because not going to, the, the to Wall... defend themselves against Hamas. Yeah, the Wall Street Journal wrote about this as well, an op-ed just this week, on, on, the, on the message that the U.S. sends with the bad weapons. Why would the U.S. not give them everything it needs? Uh, because uh, President Biden is playing to the pro-Hamas voters in Michigan and other places. It's very simple. Uh, this is a campaign uh, tactic by President Biden. I mean, that's, that's pretty extraordinary, wouldn't you say? It's very extraordinary. Israel is, the, uh, is our single democratic ally in the Middle East, our, one of our strongest allies in the world. We need to be standing strong with them so that they don't have to continue to fight these forever wars against people that come in, uh, murder, rape, and live stream it to the world. That is unconscionable. Yeah. Let me get your take on what's going on in the House right now. Speaker Mike Johnson said that he met with Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene and that the meeting uh, yesterday was productive ahead of her planned vote to try and oust him later this week. The two are planning to meet again today. How would you assess Mike Johnson's moves here? Speaker Johnson said that he has spoken to former President Trump and still has his support. But we continue to see a wide open border and no efforts to close it even as the Republicans claim this is your number one priority. Everything you said is absolutely correct, Maria. This Congress has not done anything on the southern border. This Congress has not done anything to slow down the runaway spending. This Congress actually extended the authorization of our intelligence community to spy on Americans. But having said that, I am opposed to this motion to vacate. 
because what we need to be focused on is in November sending Joe Biden into retirement, winning a Republican majority in the Senate, and maintaining and growing our majority in the House of Representatives. That is the prize that we need to keep our eye on. Yeah. So what's what's wrong with Congress then, Congressman? I mean, why can't you actually move the needle on securing the border? I understand you need a, a willing partner on the other side and you haven't had that. But it's it's frustrating to see all of these illegals coming in and the drugs flowing in and really no no movement. Uh, the problem is the Republicans, not the Democrats. We know how the Democrats are going to uh, vote. It's too many of my Republican colleagues are unwilling to vote to secure the border. Uh, you may remember the border bill was put on suspension, uh, which was a cover vote last right. week, I think it was. Uh, that was a cover vote. That was not yep. a meaningful vote. So, but I will tell you, Maria, the pressure that you see in Congress today from the conservative movement across the nation and in Congress is going to continue because that's that's the only thing that brings brings results. So I, I expect it to continue, and I think we're going to bring in some uh, some very conservative reinforcements in the November election uh, to support President Trump in in his policies. By the way, did you see the 60 Minutes uh, show the other day where Hakeem Jeffries said the Democrats are actually in charge of Congress? You saw what he said. Well, I heard that he was touting that. I watched the clip, but uh, that's, that's yeah. him beating his chest. Uh, don't believe it. We have got to get our Republican conference together, and we, frankly, need those reinforcements that I just addressed. We need reinforcements out mm -hmm. of uh, the, the, the seats that are up for election in November. All right, we'll be watching all of that. Congressman, thank you. We'll be watching your work.